Anthony Davis did not participate in Lakers practice today after getting poked in the right eye during the Lakers last scrimmage. Yeah, that's him in the shades there on the sidelines. Lakers officially restart the season on Thursday night against the Clippers, and Frank Vogel had this to say about AD's status. Take a listen. Well, Anthony is uh, did not practice today. He's still dealing with some discomfort in his eye, and uh, he's just continues to be day to day. Uh, so we'll see how he feels tomorrow. He's still dealing with uh, uh, discomfort. Um, you know, there is some concern that he could potentially not play Thursday, but we're hopeful that he does, and uh, we'll we'll see how that plays out. You know, he's going to continue to be evaluated each day. Oh, look, it's our old friend, Operation Guy. Yep, AD, not the only big name to suffer an injury down here inside the bubble. Rajon Rondo, remember, broke his thumb during one of the Lakers' first practices. Joel Embiid dealing with calf tightness. You can see Damian Lillard's left foot down there. He's had that ailing and Fred Van Vliet's knee, Aaron Gordon's groin. Look at this poor Operation Man. The list goes on and on. Richard, you hear the, the music? How concerned are you about the injuries that are piling up here? No, I, I, I'm not concerned. This is expected. Obviously, these are there, there's probably a few of these that are precautionary, uh, just to make sure, guys. These yeah. games don't really mean too much as far uh, other than tuning up. But ultimately, whenever you have this very unique layoff. Uh, and then all of a sudden players are revving back up, not over the course of a month, but over the course of a couple of weeks and into a spot where they're playing for a championship and trying to make the playoffs. And you're going to have guys playing 40 minutes. That's going to be that's just a recipe for more injuries. I won't say disaster, but for more injuries. Yeah, I can tell you the sports science people I know around the league were more worried about that than players contracting the coronavirus just four months off rapid ramp up and none of these injuries appear to be serious but when I hear calf I hear groin that stuff makes me a little bit nervous because those are the kind of soft tissue strain tear injuries that the trainers are really really worried about so fingers crossed none of these appear to be serious but this was a big worry like RJ said yeah I mean Richard I talked to Jamal Murray from the Nuggets the other day and he's just had a little, like a little bit of tightness in his hamstring. And that is why they were keeping him off the court. Because, you know, you have a full-blown hamstring injury. That'll pretty much knock him out the rest of the way here. When you're an athlete, how much do you know your body when you feel those first twinges that you can prevent a more serious injury? Or is there sometimes just nothing you well, can there, do? Well, there's nothing that you can do in this space because this is so unique. This is uncharted territory for everyone really in sports history. Luckily, this is going on in a time and in an era where they have multiple trainers. They have more sports science. When I first came into the league, there was maybe one massage therapist. There might have been one trainer and then an assistant trainer was the equipment manager also. So that's when the jokes of uh, the jokes <laughs> of rookies better not ever get on the table because you had one guy that was trying to make sure 15 people were together. Now you have teams of 10, 12 different sports science like trainers. So that's going to help the players get into a position, whether it's massages, stretches, all the things necessary for them to be successful. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm not a doctor, but neither is the assistant equipment manager. So that's not, <laughs> that, not that's what a used good to happen. setup that's, we have there. We had. That's, that's not good. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.